All prime ministers will always suffer, and you know this from your press secretary days, as well as your um, having worked in the embassy, as everybody will now pick that apart and say, well, you can't have that great freedom surging economy if you've got your chancellor in 48 hours about to put national insurance up, this, that and the other. But on the Ukraine, that didn't sound like the speech of a negotiator. That sounded like the speech of somebody who wanted to do battle. Well, if you're going to be successful in negotiation, you don't want to make speeches like a negotiator. You want to make speeches like someone who's going into battle. What you say in negotiation and what you say to the public at large become two different things, although tactically they are linked. So I would have, if Margaret Thatcher were prime minister, I would expect her to take a very tough line in public about Putin, much as Boris has done. Boris made a very important point, which is impossible ever to normalize relations with Putin's yeah, Russia. Absolutely. It's a very, very, very important point. But I could imagine Thatcher saying, if she were here today, saying to Biden, don't go wobbly on me, Joe. Mm -hmm. uh, we, need, we, need to, we need not only to take a tough line, we need to take a clever line. And taking a clever line means leaving the Russians in some doubt about what we should do. Mm -hmm. In other words, Biden made a tactical mistake by being so clear about not intervening yeah. militarily in, uh, in, uh, in Ukraine. Yeah, absolutely. The other thing that he said, and again, you jot down stuff that you think are particularly interesting, and, and, and the conversation that took place between Joe Biden and President Xi of China yesterday, Biden said, if you back the Russians, rearm them, re-equip them, you, China, could face trade sanctions. And Xi is reported to have said, hang on, <laughs> you go down that road at your peril. You're talking about global trade grinding to a halt. You're a former trade secretary. Johnson knows that. Johnson said that bang in the middle. Sanctions are the right thing to do, but they are a very costly thing to do. They're costly and they take time. And uh, I hope we don't think they're going to solve all the problems of the world. Uh, we can't have sanctions against everybody we don't like. So I would be cautious about uh, getting too bellicose and sabre-rattling about uh, sanctions against China as well as against Russia.